Hello everyone. Not everyone in a company or an office does the same work, right? Same way, not every cell inside our body does the same work. For example, the muscle cells create movement. The nerve cells carry signals and the blood cells carry oxygen or may kill bacteria. So, cells specializing in one function are grouped together in our body. This means that a particular function is carried by a cluster of cells at a part of the body. This cluster is called tissue. Now, plants too are alive. How does this division of labor work in them? Actually, most of the tissues in plants are dead. They are literally like bricks, pipe, etc. providing mechanical strength. If you see, plants are stationary or fixed as they cannot move. So most of the tissues are supportive tissues and they just provide mechanical strength. And dead tissues can easily provide this with less maintenance compared to the living tissues, right? Now, if we talk about animal tissues, well, animals need to move around in search of food, shelter and mates. For this, they need more energy compared to the stationary plants. Hence, most of the cells in animals are living cells. Now, dead cells don't divide. So, only few tissues grow throughout the life in plants and these are called growing or meristematic tissues. The meristematic tissues consist of undifferentiated cells that is, it is made of cells that haven't been assigned a specific role within the plant. But a lot of tissues in plant stop growing after a certain time and become permanent tissues. And still, if you see, trees become so big and tall. So we see, in plants, the growth is limited to certain regions only. However, Cells growth in animals are more uniform. There is no such demarcation of dividing and non-dividing regions as in plants but most of the cells stop dividing in complex animals such as we human beings and others after a certain age. Now, a stomach digests food while the kidney filters blood. So, the structural organization of organs and organ systems is specialized and localized in complex animals. In plants, it's less complex or you may say it's simple. Most of the cells are dead and some of them act like pipeline, some act like bricks and most of these tissues are distributed all over the plant. In plants, the cells formed from merismatic tissues take up a specific role and lose the ability to divide. So, they become permanent tissues. Thus, living and dead cells together maintain the life in a plant and we will learn about it in the next lesson. So, we see tissues as well as organ system design in plants and animals are different as plants are adapted to a sedentary life whereas Animals are adapted to active locomotion. That's all for now. Bye-bye.